two weeks ago, two weeks ago on one night, actually what happened? Actually what happened was that uh, it was around night time, around like 10 p.m. onwards. It's quite late at night and then I was just chilling at home after coming back from camp. Lah. Ah. And then suddenly I hear my mother screaming from the kitchen. Okay. And then she starts screaming and I wondered what happened to her. But then so I rushed into the kitchen and I realised that there was a lot of black smoke and fire in the kitchen. And turns out it's actually coming from the shower outlet okay. and the washing machine power outlet. Lah. Then I realised there's a fire there. And then okay. I assume it's probably an electrical fire. Then I realised something is wrong because if there's Never an electrical trip, fire, yeah, it didn't trip. There was oh, no really? tripping. Serious? Ah? Yeah, serious. Then I had to rush down to the circuit Man. box and I had to like manually turn, turn it off. off. La. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's that's very good. <laughs> Quick reaction. Oh, yes, Have you heard the Jurong case that killed uh, the three couple, uh, one couple and one son? No, so is it like a family fire? No, it's an electrocution. The father oh. actually fall down. Uh -huh. uh, he got a fall. Then after that, the water heater dislodged and he got electrocuted. Then the mum come and assist him. The mum also got electrocuted. Hmm. And then after the son come back, he break in the house. He saw his mum. He also help his mum. He also get electrocuted. Three oh. person in a row. So the whole family gone like that. Yeah, it's oh. very sad. But this is actually happening. But uh, nobody noticing um, the thirteen m socket outlet cannot be used as a water heater. So this interview actually help us actually to talk to the public and to raise the awareness of this uh, water heater issue. In fact, there's two more cases. Uh -huh. Okay, one is happening at Bukit Batok during a uh, HDB upgrading. One happened at Bedok. A taxi driver installed a water heater for them. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's total five life lost in 10 years. Okay, then after that, we do the rewiring. How long it takes? Uh, originally, it was proposed to be done in two days, uh -huh. but then the team were able to settle it within one day. Oh, serious? Yeah. No joke? Yeah, legit, so one day they <laughs> settled it. For these two weeks, do you enjoy or do you have any problem? Uh, so far, the electrical or electricity-wise, uh, no issues. Lah. Okay. And also to mention, the lights were also installed through a competent electrician, which we also like. Uh, All right. uh, better than our previous lights. Lah. Okay. Uh, Hopefully this last installation uh, will last you 10 years, 10 to 15 years, yeah. Hopefully so. Normally wiring will be lasting 10 to 15 years. If you have anything, you can still call us. Alright. All right. If there's an installation failure, we will honour our work. Alright. Thank you, sir. No worries, sir.